Shout out to Hip Hop United. They make sure that we never remain divided. I'm so excited that you got the flight in. Right in, what's best? The 50th anniversary of Hip Hop ATL, that's it. Hi, I'm Dr. Glenn Toby, otherwise known as Mr. Sweetie G. I'm one of the pioneers of hip hop and born in Queens, I mean raised in Queens, but born in Brooklyn and I think the connect of keeping cities, boroughs, communities together is so important. The fabric of hip hop is being held together by threads, so it's really important that we're more concerned about the threads than the beds, meaning the individuality of each person that we serve. Hip-hop is an amazing communication component. This is the greatest platform. It speaks and resonates to people from poverty to the wealthy, all races and everything. We thought that it would be important when we approached the city about bringing the Hip-hop Film Fest here. We said, listen, New York City's always been at the center point. Me as one of the icons and pioneers, I thought it was important to shed light on our brothers and sisters in the South, throughout the South, especially ATL, that's kind of moving and emerging in the space. So we've been fortunate enough to have people like David Emanuel, who's at the county, measuring all things in the art space, and of course, the Honorable Commissioner Marvin Arrington Jr., who believes in community and in art. Community, culture, and art, when money and music come together, it is amazing. Thank you for coming. And this is just it. This is the beginning of much more to come. Okay, when it comes to hip hop, you know, hip hop is a Bronx thing. You, know, you go to African Bombada, all the way down to Big Daddy Kane and all the cats that really started Run DMC. And of course, our Sweetie G, that was a, a major influence on a lot of the known hip hop artists that we know today. Without hip hop, there would be no guide group I'm from, right? Our music is R&B, but we took hip-hop, R&B, gospel, and we merged it together. And we gave a sound that never was, was there, new jack swing. Hip-hop is the core of the soul of all of us. It's core of the soul to dancing, to breakbeat, popping, locking, all of that. Without hip-hop, it would be no music. That's how I look at it, you know what I'm saying? And we can go all the way back to Africa. When you go to Africa, you hear those sounds of different type of drum beats, and those different moves and the dance moves, that's hip hop. We brought it and we crossed it over the seas and brought it to New York. And then it spread all around the world, people break dancing on their head, doing moves and doing stuff and moving their bodies. That's, that's hip hop. And when you hear that sound, it makes your body do something. So we gotta give homage to all of our forefathers of hip hop, Sweetie G again, as I say, and to all the other greats and those youngsters we got to make it to where the youngsters understand that without pure hip-hop, that pure soul, that what they're doing could never, ever happen. You know what I'm saying? So just like we're doing the movie right now, the 50-year hip-hop film festival here for the King exhibition, we need to allow people to hear true music, true hip-hop, so they can understand where it comes from. Because the stuff we're doing today, not happening. It's really not. So God bless hip-hop. God bless music. God bless King's Exhibition. God bless those films, nostalgic films that raised us to be honorable in our skin and know that we, we are great within ourselves. So that's what hip-hop means to me. This is Damon Crazy Legs Hall from the group God. I want to say shout-out to Hip-Hop United. Well, there's a